Okay, so I'm joined today by Congresswoman Donna Edwards. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Well, it's great to be with you. Um, so first off, just tell us a little bit about why you came out to Netroots Nation. Well, I've been to every Netroots Nation, and but I'm here this year because I really am energized about fighting the Citizens United decision because I think the court got it all wrong when it decided that corporations should have the same power as people in our elections, and we have to undo it. Yeah, and now there was a lot of talk about, especially with that bill, around foreign corporations as well. And a lot of people say, well, they just didn't touch, touch on that. If, if they didn't strictly forbid it, is it forbidden? Well, here's my thing, is that one, I think that this is an area where the Supreme Court doesn't need to play at all, and so I actually think that we need a constitutional amendment that really does give Congress the authority to regulate the role that corporations play, if any role, in our elections, and I think that there's not a better time than right now. Okay, and uh, tell us a little bit about the, the legislation that you came here to talk about. Well, so I've introduced House Joint Resolution 74, and it is a constitutional amendment that would undo the Citizens United decision, would say that corporations can be regulated by the Congress and that they can't play in our elections if we don't want them to. And I think that this is about restoring the power of the people through our elected representatives to our elections. And, you know, if you look at health care reform, financial regulatory reform, energy policy, all of these things are driven by the power of corporations. And we need our policies and our elections driven by the power of people. Yeah, now, and you come from a grassroots background. Um, so when you say power for the, for the people, uh, that has a, a pretty strong meaning to you, right? Well, it does because I believe in organizing. And I know that there are the naysayers who say things like, well, it's a constitutional amendment, that's a huge hurdle, it takes a supermajority, you can't do that. I don't believe it for a minute. Eighty percent of Americans believe that the court got it wrong with Citizens United. And if we can't organize eighty percent of Americans to call on their elected representatives to undo this wrongful decision, then I'm not sure what we can do. But I'm convinced, actually, that the power of the people wins every time if they're organized. Yeah, and a large base of our viewers are grassroots activists, so I always like to talk or ask people I'm talking with, what can our viewers at home do to get involved in this issue? Well, here's what you can do. We have 24 members of the House of Representatives who are supporting the Constitutional Amendment, House Joint Resolution 74. We need many more than that. And so wherever you are as an activist, go into your member of Congress, write them a letter, send them you know, an email message, communicate with them, you know, to let them know that you want them on House Joint Resolution 74. It was introduced by myself and uh, the Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, John Conyers, and I know that when that happens out all across this country, we'll make change. It's just that simple. Okay, and one thing I wanted to talk with you about, you are a very vocal advocate for health care reform and the public option. And uh, we're, we're interested in what you think uh, progressives did well, what you think they didn't do well in fighting for that reform. Well, here's what I do know, is that if progressives hadn't stood up for the public option, then I don't think that we'd have health care reform today. I think it's precisely because we stood up for the public option, even though we didn't end up getting everything that we wanted in this health care reform law, that we set the foundation for what we're going to do for the future. And it's why I joined with Lynn Woolsey and others just yesterday, introducing a brand new public option to build on what we've done with health care reform. And the reason that we can do that is because we did so well in fighting for the law that we we have today. Okay, and I have to ask, what do you think we should have done better? Well, always, you know, you can look back and say, what could you have done? One, I think that we shouldn't have, we, we shouldn't have given in. We needed to pound the pavement and press the flesh with the President of the United States and with the United States Congress from the beginning. And I think that we kind of, you know, we waited for the storm in August um, before health care reform uh, passed, before we really got full steam on board around the public option. I think had we kept that steam up, the entire year, we'd actually maybe seen an even stronger bill. But you know what? That said, you got to start somewhere. And so I'm really pleased that we have the law that we have, and now it's time to build on it. Okay, my last question would be uh, coming back to Citizens United. Uh, how did the fight for health care reform, how is that affecting 
how you are looking at this fight towards to get this legislation passed? Well, when I think about Citizens United and that decision, uh, I remember during health care reform, I stood on the floor of the Congress and I put photographs of all the CEOs of the major health insurance companies and I said, here's how much they make, um, here's how much they're spending on lobbying and on, on campaigns and they're standing in the way of reform. Can you imagine if all those corporations then decided, okay, now we want to dig into our corporate treasuries and we want to defeat Donna Edwards. That's what Citizens United does. And so I think there's a deep linkage between what we do on public policy, whether it's health care or energy or insurance reform, that is really connected to the role that corporations play in our politics, and we have to undo that. Okay, thank you. And I remember those signs from your town hall last year. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for talking. Thank you.